your iPad has restrictions which you can use as parental controls or if you're in your business setting maybe what you want to do is you want to restrict certain access to certain apps it's basically what you're doing is you're restricting access to apps and it's all done through the settings app down here so let's go and look at restrictions and how we can use them as parental controls so I'm going to open up our settings here and the first thing we have to do is we have to go to general it's under the general settings and once you select general you're going to see restrictions over here and you're going to see if I look to the right it is off let's go ahead and select this and see what options we have so I'm going to just tap on it first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable restrictions so I'm going to tap on this and what's going to do is it's going to ask me for a code so I'm going to enter in a four digit code what this code does is if someone wants to use Safari, let's say I were to block Safari, they have to enter the code. They have to go into restrictions and re-enable it. If they don't know the code, they're not going to be able to use Safari. The only way you're going to be able to use any of these apps, if you have them restricted, is if you know the code. So let's go and enable it. And I'm going to enter in a code here. One, two, three, four. It's going to ask me to put it in there twice to make sure I got the right code. All right. Now you're going to see I can go and turn on and off access to certain apps. And this includes Safari, the camera, FaceTime, iTunes, installing apps, deleting apps. So if you want to set it up to where someone can't go into Safari, all I have to do is tap on this. And now they can't get into Safari. And what it does is it actually hides Safari. I'm going to hit the home button here. And if you recall, I had Safari in the dock at the bottom. If you look, there's no Safari there. I have three apps. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. I'm going to hit Settings here. And I'm going to go to Restrictions. Enter the code. This is where you need to know the code. I'm going to turn this on. And now I hit the Home button. And you're going to see I have Safari on the dock. So it hides the app altogether when you restrict that app. Let's go back into settings here. So how would you use this for parental controls? I want someone to get on the internet. I want them to use Safari. Well, what you do is you go to the App Store and you can download another browser that has parental controls built in. It will block certain sites. So what you do is you turn off Safari, which will allow you to any site, and you download another app that blocks certain sites. And basically what you've done is you've enabled parental controls for websites. As you can see, I can turn on and off the camera access, FaceTime access, iTunes access. And we can also restrict installing and deleting apps. This could be particularly useful in a business environment per se. Below that, we have content restrictions. So up in the top there is our app restrictions. The next section is content restrictions, and we can restrict content based on ratings in certain countries, explicit, music and podcasts, movies, TV shows. We can also restrict in-app purchases. Do we want to require a password after a certain amount of time? Right now it's set by default for 15 minutes. Maybe we want to change that. And then our next section is privacy. With privacy, what we can do is we can restrict access to certain apps from other apps. In other words, I'm going to go to Photos down here. iMovie has requested access to my photos because I want to make movies with the photos that are in my camera app or in my Photos app. Well, if I don't want to do that, all I have to do is turn this off and iMovie will not have access to my photos. So I'm going to go back up to Restrictions here. And it works the same way with any of these other apps. Facebook could access your contacts. If you don't want it to access your contacts, you can go in here and turn it off. There are certain calendar apps that want to access your calendars. If you don't want that to happen, you can turn that off. Now, generally speaking, when an app asks for access to one of these apps, which they will always ask for access to, you have to say yes or no initially, it is not for malicious reasons. What they might have is a better feature set. They might add more features. That is why they are asking for access to the photos. That's why they're asking for access to the contacts. Apple's contacts 
has a certain feature set, there might be another contact app out there that offers more. Bento Database offers more features, but what it wants to do is it wants to access your contact so it can use that information in Bento. So you're going to see it under contacts here that Bento is accessing your contacts. That's why these apps ask for permission to access your contacts. It's generally not for malicious reasons. Apple has to approve every app. It is usually because they want to offer more features. And then down at the bottom, we can also restrict access to different accounts, such as our mail accounts or find my friends accounts. Maybe what I want to do is I want to set the volume limit, and I don't want anybody to change it. And down at the bottom here, we have Game Center. With Game Center, what we can do is we can restrict access to multiplayer games as well as adding friends. So you can see now how you can use restrictions for parental controls. All you have to do is just decide what you want to restrict access to, an app or data within an app, an account, or maybe even the Game Center. Now if you do enable restrictions, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't hand out that four-digit code. Otherwise, you're going to be able to get by those restrictions. You also want to make sure that you don't forget that four-digit code. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to go in there and change the restrictions. So that's how you can use restrictions as parental controls on your iPad.